the biggest challenges I see coaches face is being confused on the process, being afraid of putting themselves out there, maybe because of judgment, what other people are gonna say, the fear of failure, the fear of success. There's something that's stopping them from going to the next level. The lack of knowledge and knowing in terms of knowing, well, what should I do or what strategy or what direction should I take in? That lack of clarity makes them overthink. The lack of clarity makes them say, uh, I don't really know if I feel like I can do this because I don't want to take a misstep. I don't want to waste years and years of my life. So they, they never take a step or they take the step, but they keep they going in the wrong direction. <laughs> right. They not they're going in the opposite direction of impact in the world or what they want to achieve revenue. Right. So uh, there's a lot of mistakes that I see many coaches make, but our whole goal in terms of why we doing this whole thing and why I train and teach a lot of coaches is. You know, we all want to make that impact in the world. We all want to be able to take our business to the next level. We all want to be able to live the type of life we want to live in terms of helping people and changing and transforming lives. But also, we want to be able to send our kids to the finest schools or we want to be able to travel around the world and potentially speak or help people and transform lives and, you know, do events. And because all, uh, all of these different areas of coaching are really uh, of how you help people. Are really similar in the same fashion it's just different ways of how you go about it but at the end of the day it's all really about helping people take their life to the next level so this is why i'm so passionate about coaching and uh and by the way welcome here and if this is your first time seeing the training from me again my name is terrell jones and i am an, an international business coach and you know and i do public speaking on um specifically on business i work with a lot of folks specifically in the realm of coaching and helping folks take their business from zero to six figures or maybe you're currently at four or five figures and you're trying to get to six figures are you trying to get to that 10k a month 20k a month 30k a month right so i specialize and help a lot of folks getting getting to that level and uh, i'm excited because where what i've been able to achieve today it would have been hard to even see that this was even possible years ago when I first really started doing this because, I mean, today has just been a blessing. I got over 2.2 million people um, that I've reached just with my content alone. And by the way, oh, that was, you know, during the pandemic. Uh, I've been able to make multiple six figures in this industry. We do live events where we get folks who come from across the country and international to our events. Um, I do, um, I have, uh, you know, a phenomenal online course, masterclass and digital courses, uh, you know, and I just do, I do a, a ton of trainings and do a lot of free things out there. And what's, what makes it so interesting is that that is not where I started. I started where a lot of us start, where we just out here, just kind of giving advice and just helping people for free. I'm from New York city, came from the South side of the Bronx, literally was around drug dealers, uh, you know, was, I didn't know anybody successful. I put it to you that way. And I, I literally should have ended up dead or in jail just to keep it 100 with you. Um, but I was blessed enough to be able to go to college and really just try to figure out myself and see what I wanted to do. So long story short, I graduated my bachelor's, my master's and bachelor's degree, making great money, making six figures. And uh, but I still felt like something wasn't I saw like something isn't there. Right. And I kept getting all of this validation from people that I've been helping and giving good advice to specifically on campus. Terrell, you should coach. You should teach. You should train. You should be a speaker. You should, you know, coach and counsel people. So I was getting all of these people who were saying that I'm just I, I'm always giving and, and, and that they loved it. Um, so I started initially in this industry working with people just showing them how to graduate college and get into their career field. That was it. Uh, but the problem I had was like a lot of us where we feel good helping people and transforming lives and helping people and getting the feedback, but we forget, oh, there's a whole nother side to this. <laughs> there's an actual coaching business side of it that we got to master. And that was the part that I was lacking in. So for me, I felt like I didn't have value because I didn't necessarily understand the business. And that was, and that was because I was just kind of struggling. I was, you know, I went out, I just started just doing things and I wasn't getting any results. And I started to question myself, is this for me? I was just afraid of the judgment people would give up. You know, obviously people are not wanting it. Obviously I'm not making the money. Obviously I'm not getting the clients consistently. So maybe this isn't for me. 
Maybe I thought it was, but I don't know. I, I can't be because I'm not seeing the results because people aren't approaching me. And that was the mindset that I had and I almost lost my purpose because I almost gave up thinking that I didn't have value to give the world because I didn't understand the business side of it yet. When I learned the value of what I was supposed to, like the, the pursuit of being on this journey was when um, I did this, I, I was setting up for this one training and I got these Beyonce tickets. This is when she was doing the owner rental. So I'm like, all right, I got these Beyonce tickets and which by the way, was only one ticket. So I had this Beyonce ticket and I'm like, all right, everybody's gonna show up to this webinar. And this was during the time of a free conference call. So it gets to the time and I'm expecting all these people. I don't know what I was expecting, like hundreds of people. So I get on a call, zero people show up at the time it starts. Five minutes, crickets, 10 minutes, I'm sweating. 15 minutes, finally this one lady strolls on. And I'm like, uh, well, I guess I gotta give the value, like she showed up. So um, so I delivered this amazing training and uh, I had to like tell my wife, like, can you please come on? Like, just cause I didn't want to be the only one on. So we get to the end and I'm like, all right, who's gonna win this Beyonce ticket? So I say her name, she goes crazy. Oh my God, oh my God, I won, right? And she's just like out of her mind. And it was in that moment that I was excited for her, but I was also pissed off at the same time. And it made me think, I actually have value in this world to give. But because of my own lack of knowledge, because of my own lack of getting the help or the support, there's a lot of people out there that's just like this lady that's not being helped because of my selfishness. So it was in that moment that I I, I got the confidence to say, you know what, I have value to give because I've been giving it for years already. So you know what, let me go out here and really dig my nails in and figure out what do I need to do to make my impact in the world? What do I need to do to go full time? What do I need to do to live my purpose? And I have to learn it and I don't have all day. <laughs> I'm, trying to, like, I'm trying to get this ball rolling. And, uh, and that was my journey and that was my pursuit. And once I started getting, once I started getting the clients, I mean, once I started getting the, the coaching that I needed, boom, that literally catapulted me into six figures, right? So let me just share some numbers with you because a lot of people be fronting. I want to show you some receipts real quick so you know who you learn learning from, your coach you learn learning from. So first, a couple things. Um, one, when you look at this number right here, you see the love. These are the level of opt-ins. Opt-ins are also known as leads. These are leads. So think about how many people you've spoken to over the last month. And over the last 30 days, these are the amount of leads that I got qualified leads. Some of us, I speak to people and they're like, yo, maybe one, two, three people. We got 341. So you don't just get 341. You got to have a system, right? So one thing is got to have a system in order to generate the amount of revenue you want to generate six figures, right? Comments. These are just the comments that we get on typical that we get on a monthly basis for our courses. Um, and then also I want to show you a couple other things too. So this right here is gross revenue. This is directly from my Stripe account, right? Gross revenue that is over the last, uh, just over four over a four month time period, right? From January to April, 83. Now there's a lot of folks that don't even make that annually, right? So, you know, we've did that in their, you know, in their job. So this is just what we made in the first trimester of the year. So just so you have an idea of, you know, what, you know, what, what it looks like. So, um, so that's revenue. Then we got um, actual new customers. So 86 new customers during that, also during that time period as well. So that's all, that also shows you, right? You got to have those new customers flowing. If I asked you how many new clients or customers you got over, you know, last month or in the last three or four months, what would you say? I can tell you what we would say, 36, I mean, 86. And then also, right, dispute activity. So I really wanted to share this because you don't see anybody talking about the refund rate. So we have some of the lowest refund rates in the industry at about one point, not even 2%, right? So just, just to let you know, like the type of program that we have, there's no program that's perfect, right? Where no, no, there's no company that has 0% turnover. However, we got some of the lowest in the industry because of some of the things that I'll even share with you of how we do to really help our folks make progress, get results, generate revenue. Um, so we only got about 1.86. All right. So that's who you learn it from. 
So let's jump into some training. I want to share with you like, well, how am I making all of these results happen? Like what, what is what is the secret sauce? So let me share with you the secret sauce. All right. So this is going to be the road to success, road to success in terms of coaching. And we'll talk more about this, especially, um, you know, as we connect. But this is what it looks like. LFF, LFF stands for the lead flow formula. This is what it looks like to have a successful coaching um, business. So the very first thing we need to focus on is what we call executive offer package. The executive offer package is all about creating your offer and your package. If you don't have, if you're not clear on who you help, how you help them, what your niche is, what your messaging looks like, if you're not clear on um, specifically what people are getting in terms of the deliverables, what makes your program stand out, what's different, your pricing. So this is a whole, like, this is something that you really got to pay attention to in order, and you got to know how to create and you got to do it strategically in the right way. Otherwise, your whole business is, is off kilter. I've seen people have to pivot businesses because they went so far in the wrong direction that they had to literally pivot their entire business. So you don't want to be in that place. Second, we got we're going to focus on a content system. Right. So the content system is all about now you got to be able to strategically release content into the marketplace. If you if you're not doing that, then you're like most coaches out here where you're just releasing content when you feel like it. Oh, oh I, I got to hurry up and put up a post. Oh, you know, I know I'm supposed to do something today. Oh, let me post something on TikTok. Oh, let me do something on Instagram. Oh, I know I'm supposed to. And you wore and you run it around with your head like a chicken with your head cut off, right? Or with your hair on fire because you don't have a specific strategy on what you're supposed to be doing. So that's the content system. This is going to get you in front of your ideal clients consistently and make them uh, and it's going to be more attracting than chasing people down. So that's that. Now we got to focus on this one. We got to focus on lead flow. Lead flow is very important because lead flow is going to is what's going to allow you to start bringing people into your community. The biggest thing, the biggest challenge that I had was I would I, I didn't have anything lead. I, I didn't have any way to attract people as leads. I would just post and think, oh, people are going to come to me. I'm going to get clients. I didn't know that I actually had to attract them as leads. So we got about seven different ways lead proven lead generation sources that's actually going to get people on your calendar and it's actually going to bring people into your community into your world so you can actually serve them on a deeper level and then we're going to then we talk about client conversion and client conversion is all about how do you actually take somebody who's uh, you're having these conversations and actually enrolling them to become clients? If you don't have a specific process or, or a proven script or something that um, and we use a lot of psychology in terms of really helping people overcome their beliefs. If you don't have that, you, you're going to struggle and you won't make your you won't make your, your 10K a month, 20K a month, 30. You won't make the six figures you want to make, even if it's 5K a month, you won't make it. All right. So that's super, super important. All right. So that's what we call the lead flow formula. That's what's going to take things to the next level. So um, I'm excited. I'm excited for you because this is going to be a new frontier for you. This is going to be a new journey. And um, there's a lot of folks who's out here and they're doing things that that used to work a decade ago. Right. They out here and, they, and they're trying to just quote DM. No. Right. They out here and they just going to post to get clients. No. Right. They, they out here just doing a bunch of things that maybe worked years ago or used to work and they don't know like, oh, this is the new way to do it. Oh, this is how I go about attracting clients. Oh, this is the way that I'm supposed to leverage uh, these social media platforms to get clients consistently. And if you don't know that, you constantly find yourself wasting time, wasting money, going with programs that just look they just looking they just looking at you like you got a dollar sign over your head. Right. But they not really try to provide you the real value and insight. To not just, you know, obviously I don't just, I don't just give you things to keep coming back to me. I'm going to give you knowledge and information and strategies and the support that you're actually going to use for year, years and years to come, regardless of whether we keep working together or not. Now, I happen to have my coach for years because I, when I build a relationship, I like somebody who continuously knows me. But listen, 
you know, it's up to you, but I'm gonna give you everything that you need, you know, should we work together? But that's the, that is the, um, that's the plan right there. Other than that, let's continue to rock, make things happen. Always believe in yourself and never let anybody tell you that you cannot do this. You have everything inside of you and you've already been helping people. So trust in yourself.